What is up fam? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are finally going to really get started on the bobber build. So we've had some issues with the bobber uh, the last couple of days, last few times I've done stuff with it. I'll explain that in just a minute. But we're going to grab the bobber, we're going to pull it up right here, and this is going to be our workspace. Because I want to work on it at home, not clear over at the farm. So I can get more done on it for you guys and uh, have a little bit of light and stuff and be able to work on it more. So we're going to hop on it flip it around and see if we can get it around this corner or uh, just how we're going to get it right here. So let's see. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I did not think I was gonna make that corner. I didn't think it was gonna make it around, but we did it. Sweet, so I'm gonna adjust the bike a little bit. I'll tell you guys what happened. We're gonna try and get the bike on the center stand, which I don't know if I can do it alone. Woo, didn't think I could. So me and Emma took the bike for a ride uh, last week, and we went to go run some errands and just go for a ride on the bike. Everything was great. The thing ran perfect, went and stopped by John's house. It was great. And then we got caught in the rain. So we were about five minutes from John's house to start sprinkling. So we mobbed back to John's house. Everything was fine. Parked the bike. It was running perfectly, mind you. Hopped off and uh, went, hopped in the Corvette because that was at John's house. Went and finished our errands and everything. Well, the next day it had quit raining. Mind you, this bike has been outside for who knows how long. When I went to pick it up at the guy's house, covered in mildew. I mean, this, it, it wasn't a garage kept bike. So I went, stuck the key in, went to fire it up, nothing. The lights would come on on the dash and as soon as I hit the start button, it just click once and lose all power. So long story short, it ended up being a bad battery. Now I've had, never had a bad battery give me those symptoms, but it did. So, uh, yeah, I thought it was a starter solenoid. I thought it was a starter, uh, tore the bike apart. I didn't want to get into wiring. And it was just giving me some really weird symptoms. But we got the bike to fire back up, put a new battery in it. Everything is minty. So now we're going to start the bobber build. So let me give you guys the vision and the idea. So what we're going to do on this bike is we're going to pull the sissy bar off. We're going to pull the blinkers off. We're going to pull the rear brake light assembly off. Rear seat. And we're going to get down and we're probably going to chop up the factory fender and see what we can do. If not, we might be buying an aftermarket rear fender. We're going to be pulling these shocks off and putting our own solid links in there to give it a hard tail conversion. We're gonna drop the whole bike down super low to the ground, get the tire super close to the rear fender, and probably raise the forks up a little bit to get us a little bit leveled out. We're gonna make some custom side panels for it. We're gonna pull these faded decals off, and we're going to wrap the front fender, the tank, the side panels, and the rear fender. Enough jibber jabber, let's get in there and start tearing it down.
All right, boys. <laughs> so I thought a lot about it, thought long and hard, and this is what I came up with. They do sell a strut that is 10 inches long um, to replace your shock steel hardtail conversion on these bikes. I don't have the money for it right now. Um, they do sell shorter shocks to uh, actually lower the ride height and keep shocks on the bike. They're pretty expensive. I don't have money for that. So here's what I came up with. Two $7 Harbor Freight Crescent wrenches. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. I know, I know, I know, I know. But it's kind of like a bobber, like a rat rod, rat bobber, you know, budget, do it cheaply build. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld a little bit on the inside of this because you can see it's a little loose. Weld maybe a washer in there or just weld it up and re-drill through it. Kind of get it nice and tight on that bushing. And then on the other side, I'm just gonna close the clamp drill a hole through it and then I'm going to weld on the back of this right here weld it so it stays closed and weld the jaws shut and uh, we got ourselves a strut right there so I'm trying to decide right now we're kind of at a turning point let me know in the comments what you think I don't know if I should just go full send and hack the frame right here make this bike so it will never be original again um, hack the frame and just go all out or if I maybe want to pull this helmet lock off, pull some stuff off and, you know, put another fender right here and mount it to these existing frame tails and try and incorporate them to where we can still unbolt everything. And I'm keeping all the stock parts and be able to put it back, you know, how it was factory. So just in case the, you know, next owner wants to be able to put it back to factory or whatever. So let me know in the comments, tell me what you guys think, but yeah, so that's what I came up with. I'm pretty, honestly, pretty proud of it. I think it's hilariously cool, but let me know what you think. So we're just going to keep messing with this thing a little bit. Um, I don't have my my gas tank here for my welder. It's over at the farm. So probably won't be welding this up tonight, but yeah, just going to do a little more here and there. So I've got the LED turn signals that I bought for the bike right here. I was going to unbox and open all the parts for it until uh, some of my parts aren't coming, so I'm no longer doing that, but let's see if we can get this out. A lot smaller, a lot cleaner, they're smoked. Well, let's actually see, we might be able to just plug this in and get it to work with the stock connectors. Hey, these might just plug and play, that's pretty cool, let's try it. So we do have the fast flash, which I was worried about, but that's not terribly fast. I think I'm just gonna leave that. That's that's actually really nice. I'm just gonna leave that. We're gonna be able to just drill these out a little bit and use these as a uh, new blinker location. Before we end today's video, we're gonna drop the bike down and see just how low it's gonna sit. Just for good measure, we'll slap these bad boys on there so that the wrenches can't come off. And right onto my hand, dang it. Yeah, I should have just ended the video. Oh man. There we go. Whew. That was almost really bad. <sighs> All that so I could sit on it. Yeah, that was not fun. <sighs> did not think that one through. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe so you can see more and stay updated on the build. Stay hungry, stay humble, even when your motorcycle falls over.
Stay motivated. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.